good evening once again. Still smoking this uh, Barnegat blend from Art. And in the Fabrizio Natalizia apple. And a very nice English stroke Balkan blend. Very, very nice indeed. Very impressed with it. And the lighter. London Calling, YTPC, from Art. So, as the title suggests, this is a shout out to Piping Koala 48 Johnson. Now, hold on, my cable is not long enough. There you go. Piping Koala 48 Johnson. He's uploaded his first video. And I've dropped the camera. He's uploaded his first video, and uh, it's a wonderful video. Mostly because he mentions me a lot. <laughs> um, no, I want to thank Izzy as well because he's um, highlighted his presence on the YTPC. So I went and checked him out, and lo and behold, he starts talking about me. I blushed. But um, <coughs> his name's Brian. Very relaxed, easygoing presentation. He's been smoking a pipe for 55 years in Australia. And he's just discovered the YTPC. I'm kind of jealous because I remember when I discovered the YTPC and it was just a completely mind blowing revelation. And he's just going through that now. So, um, check him out. I'm a proud third subscriber to his channel. It's a really, really young channel. Check him out. Um, you can tell just from that one video that be a worthwhile channel to watch, so go give him a sub. I remember the uh, early days when I first started smoking a pipe. I mean, Brian's been at it for, for half a century, but... Um, so he's seen it all before. So when some novice like me talks about a tobacco... Hmm. Um, he must, to some extent, be laughing inside, thinking, you know, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. It would be very interesting to uh, spend some time with Brian, to hear about some of his uh, pipe smoking experiences. I remember very fondly the, the initial um, birth pangs of my pipe smoking journey. Well, I'm not going to call it birth pangs because it was very pleasant. So that's probably not a good word, not a good description. Um, probably, um, I mentioned this in my VR to Izzy on his thank you gore. Probably the most uh, influential party to my pipe smoking was the Dagners. And um, although don't have much output, these, they don't have much output these days. <coughs> I still enjoy going back to the old videos of Jason and Jay just chatting, well before they started producing pipes. So Brian, if you uh, if you've got time in your hands. Um, check out Smoking Dagners and look back at their old videos. On YouTube you can filter it 
and uh, when you look at the library you can click on the oldest and put bring up the oldest videos first and check out the older videos I think they're great and for me that was um, just watching them and their passion their raw passion for pipe smoking and they had no ulterior motive at that point there was no pipes or anything like that in the offing at all um, they were Jason was working in some uh, industrial factory of some kind and it was you know it wasn't on the horizon at all but the passion is there and the fire was stoked and um, the fire in the pipe was stoked and that's where I got a lot of my uh, interest um, so give them a look and look up I think this pipe is generally speaking done and dusted Mm, might be a little bit left in there, but I'm not going to smoke the dregs. Let's see. Oh, it is actually done. I am finding these days, um, in the last, I would say, two or three weeks, that I'm smoking pipes really, tobaccos right down to the heel. I don't know what's changed. I don't know if my uh, the way I smoke is different, or if it's the tobaccos that I'm smoking. Um, or if I'm just smoking it differently, I, I don't know. But I do find that um, when I empty out the pipe, there's nothing left. Whereas previously there was always bottle left. Um, so that's a good thing. I'm really don't know what happened, but um, this uh, tobacco. I mean, I was when I did the impressions video before. Uh, obviously, at that stage, I hadn't gone to the bottom of the bowl, so I couldn't comment really. But I can certainly say that uh, flavors stayed fantastic throughout. Really highly recommend this uh, stuff. Um, I don't know if it's blended by them or not, or if it's just uh, rebranded, um, which I'm not sure they're allowed to do these days. I, I, I'm not sure how, where the FDA is up to. I think they've postponed their decision once again, so maybe they can do that. Um, certainly in the UK, um, I don't think you can rebrand your own. Uh, I don't think you can take a bulk tobacco and rebrand it and sell it as another brand unless. it was going to be the case that you, they'd have to re-register it and go through the whole process with the FDA which would cost like something stupid like a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars um, so for the average b &M, that would mean if they relied on their own house blends that would be curtains really because which b &M can afford to spend two hundred thousand dollars on a house blend um, so anyway this was supposed to be a, a shout out so Check out Piping Koala 48 Johnson. I will put a link below. Have a great evening. Catch you on the next one.